Well, I, I have argued today for protecting these budgets and at the very least making sure that budgetary reductions are not disproportionate in the arts and culture sector. The danger here, of course, is that every, if everybody makes the same disproportionate decision, the cumulative effect is more than even the decision makers intended. So we have to be very careful what we're doing. These things are of international importance. It's our heritage. It shouldn't be lost or neglected. The answer is that it is very, very important to protect the poorest in a time of austerity. We are not doing that. Uh, and I profoundly disagree with the government's approach to managing the present financial difficulties. But don't take it out on the arts and culture. They're there for everyone, not just for elites. You shouldn't set one public good against another. No, just, just as you shouldn't set the arts and culture budget against uh, help for the poor, you shouldn't set uh, one form of culture uh, against another as if one was of more value than the other. The response should be proportionate, but it should be across the piece. In other words, uh, uh, everything that is of value should be taken into consideration and in as far as we can protect it. When I was a student I discovered the works of Shostakovich with Prokofiev through cheap student tickets and the Halle Orchestra under Sir John Barbaroli and Morris Hansons back in the uh, late 60s and early 70s and I got in to see my very first operas, uh, Die Valkyrie and Boris Godunov because of cheap student tickets and of course we're right up at the back of the theatre, high up in the, near the ceiling uh, but it's still a life enhancing experience and uh, something I'll never forget. I think the opportunities are still there for them and I would urge them to take them and to explore these things and to find out more about it. It's a combination of things. Uh, central government, uh, regional and local government, uh, where there are, is funding available, should make a proportionate contribution. But I think we need to find new ways of drawing on private sector funds. Uh, we should look again at the workings of the tax system and also look at what people like myself, people uh, in public life, can do through advocacy to make uh, certain that uh, our fellow citizens understand that support for the arts is a public good and to be encouraged. Personally, uh, I always speak out in favour of good uh, private sector, good corporate citizen uh, activity and uh, I would encourage my colleagues to do the same. These things are of enormous value. The uh, quarrels of governments are not the quarrels of peoples and the more we understand each other and understand uh, the, the highest of culture which is universal, the, be the better we will get on together.